Hello, my name is Jared Fortney and I'm a Group Networks Consultant. We'll be doing a tutorial today about Primavera P6. Um, we're going to discuss how to get started in the software. What we're going to discuss first is logging into Primavera P6. We'll then move on to discuss the home page and the workspace. And then we'll discuss how to change the program password. We will talk about selecting a language and changing the language for all the menus and uh, basically all of the text in the software. And lastly, we'll discuss how to change startup windows. So let's get started here. We're going to open project management, also known as P6. What you'll see here is the login screen and your administrator will give you a username and password. Um, but one of the important things here is to be sure that you're connected to the correct database. Um, you'll see here Oracle PMDB is, is one of the databases available to me. There's PMDB XE and there's the Oracle PMDB. Now, you can add different databases if you know the area or the, um, the file directory to other databases have been created. You can add those. Um, you can <clears throat> also run the configuration wizard and create a new database. But today we're just going to cover selecting the correct database. We're going to go ahead and put in our password. We're going to click OK, and that will log us in to P6. Now, what's important to notice here is that it took us directly to the EPS view, or showing all of the all of the schedules that we have, all the projects here, which are standalone schedules or projects within P6. Um, you're able to modify the views or which view you want to go to directly when you log into P6. And um, I'll go ahead and show you that. It's under it's under user preferences. And when you click on user preferences, you're going to go to application. And here in the startup window, you can see that it goes to activities. But you could choose any of these work products and documents, WBS, tracking, resources, resource assignments, reports, projects, pro project thresholds. Um, you can choose home, which is what we're going to do. Now, there's these two checkboxes. They say show the issue navigator dialog at startup. We're going to click that. And we're also going to click show the welcome dialog at startup. Now, we're going to close this. And we're going to exit out of uh, P6. And what we're going to do is open it back up. And now when we log in again, you'll see that that it's a very different screen. First of all, the welcome screen popped up because we checked that box. Now the welcome screen is interesting. It's very helpful. Um, some people prefer not to use, to use it, so they have this checkbox to not show it anymore. Um, but you can create a brand new project by starting here, clicking Create New. You can also open existing, meaning it will go directly to the to the projects list and allow you to choose one. You can see that the last project that we opened was Harbor Point. So if we wanted to quickly go to the last project or the project maybe that we've been working on recently. Um, we click this. <clears throat> now open global data. It will open the EPS, the projects, the roles and resources, but it won't open a project, a specific particular project. But something that I used a lot um, in the past is the select project portfolio. And this is something, this is something that, uh, 
is very interesting because basically a portfolio is a grouping of projects. So if you have one large project and you happen to have separated that project, I mean project as in a, a large a construction project or you know the the overall project. If you've broken that project down into multiple schedules, then <clears throat> and those schedules have interproject relationships what you would do is create a project portfolio that included all those projects so if you wanted to open five or six schedules that all pertain to the same project then this is where you would go you would could choose any one of these and it would basically be the you know a number of projects that are all underneath that portfolio what we're going to do is just go ahead and we're going to open the existing. Now, you'll see that also, like we discussed, we clicked the issue navigator to pop up. Now, issues isn't something we're going to discuss, but it is something um, that we'll talk about in, in future lessons. But basically, an issue is something that you've identified in your project that needs to be taken care of it's a problem or it's you know um, something that someone needs to take, to take care of but this issue navigator will pop up if you check the box like we did we're gonna close out of that now where we are here is the home page and you can turn these toolbars off you can see here that the, um, the view toolbars you can turn the navigation bar off. So now that home bar goes away. If we turn that back on. You'll see that if we go anywhere within Primavera except for the home page, that the home button is now um, active. And you can press that and go back to this screen at any time. That is, if you have this toolbar um, open. There's a couple other ones here. You got the directory on the left which is helpful. Um, I personally like the smaller one and I normally do this. I will turn this off and actually it is small now. If you turn this off you'll see that the buttons get smaller and then I normally take this and I drag it to the other side but it's really a matter of preference. Now, another interesting thing is that you don't actually have to go to toolbars or view to the view menu in the toolbars. You can right mouse click here anywhere on a toolbar and it will give you the toolbar menus. So you can turn the home off. You can come over here, you turn it back on. So that covers navigation. Um, this is kind of like a browser, like where have I been? you can continue to go backward and forward it remembers where you were um, you can turn this directory off and on and you've got a little help screen there I'm going to show you next how to uh, change your password now your administrator will will come in here and they'll set your password for you so let's say for instance your name is Chuck then I'm the administrator I would create Chuck's password now I would give Chuck his password, but it, you know Chuck doesn't want me to have his password. You know, so you want to maintain uh, that kind of security. Once the administrator gives you your, your password, you are able to go in and change it. So you can come here to User Preferences, and what you're going to do is click on Password. So currently I'm logged in as myself. So if I wanted to change my password, I would go to the Password tab, click Password, and then I would put the new password in it and press OK. Now the next time that you log in you need to utilize that password to access P6. We'll close that. Now <clears throat> Oracle Primavera P6 also allows you the option of changing the language for the entire uh, software. 
So we're going to take a look at that. It's under the Tools menu, and you're going to come all the way down to Set Language. Personally, I think this should be underneath the Administrator Preferences, but um, I guess I guess the end users would also want to be able to change the language, so I think they put it out into Tools. So here you see Set Language. We can change it to Spanish. Russian, Japanese, German, French, English, Chinese traditional or Chinese simplified. Let's go ahead and pick one. Let's say Russian. I'll click OK. And you will see now that all of the buttons, all of the menus, are now in Russian, except for Project Architect for some reason and WBS, but you can see the majority of all these buttons are actually now in the Russian language. Let's hope that that's set language. It is not. <laughs> well, I guess I will need someone who speaks Russian to come and help me. There we go. We have now found it, the set language tool, and we're going to set it back to English so, so that now I don't look like an idiot. All right, so that's how you change the language with MP6. It will allow you to change it to seven or eight different languages. All right, and uh, lastly, what we're going to discuss is um, how to change your startup windows, which is very much um, the same thing that we were looking at before. If you come back to application, what we didn't discuss was changing P6 and where where it would go when you opened it. So let's say that when you open P6, you're really, really interested in looking at the project risks. So we're going to go ahead and close that. We'll shut down P6. And then we'll reopen it. So what we're going to do is go back and open project management. And put in the password. And what you'll see is when you click open global data is that it's going to take us to the screen that we set in the in the user preferences, which um, I've changed to the reports screen. And when you click open global data, it is directly associated with that that choice in the user preferences. So if you click this do not show this window again, what will happen is it will every time you log into Primavera it'll skip this screen and go directly to the screen that you've chosen so and I'll show you that but we'll go ahead and hit open global data and you'll see that we went directly to the report screen now let's log out log back in We'll click this do not show this window again and we'll hit open global data once again the reports screen will log out log back in again and we should go directly to reports this time and not see the welcome screen there you go Okay, so that covers everything that we wanted to discuss regarding getting started in Primavera P6. Once again, my name is Jared Fortney. I'm a group networks consultant, and uh, we'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.